The only man to be convicted for the worst terrorist atrocity on British soil had served just eight of the minimum 27 years of his life sentence in Greenock Prison. Al Megrahi leaves prison to return to Libya, to his family and to die, but he leaves behind him unanswered questions about the Lockerbie bombing and a storm of international protest. Dulbasid al Megrahi boarded his plane to Tripoli just two hours after Scotland's Justice Minister had confirmed he was to be released. It didn't feel like closure of any kind because I felt like we're never really going to know all of the chess pieces that were happening between the United States and Libya, the United States and Iran, and all the little pieces that were being moved around that we don't even know about.